Well, over 61 million Americans experience heartburn each month, and in some cases, it can be severe. There is, however, a solution. Roland Rodriguez joins us live from Bay Area Hospital with details. Good morning, Roland. Hey, good morning, Mike, and good morning, South Texas. If you tried everything, even prescribed medication, and that doesn't work, your doctor may suggest surgery. Now joining us early this morning is Dr. Jagan Gopal. How are you doing this morning, sir? I'm doing great, Roland. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Now let's talk about GERD. This is something that's very common, not only, you know, pretty much everywhere. Exactly. So America, there's about 25% of Americans who suffer from GERD or gastroesophageal reflux disease, and same, same here in Texas. Yeah. What, uh, what are some of the signs that we should really look out for? So common signs are reflux or heartburn. Um, that's when the acid is refluxing back into the esophagus and causing that burning sensation. Some people may have some chest discomfort. And at nighttime, you may have a difficult time sleeping because of cough. Um, you may even taste the acid or bitterness in the back of your throat. Yeah. Um, some people may even get re recurrent infections like pneumonias from all these problems. Yeah, what are the treatments and what happens if you don't treat it? So first, of, first off is always lifestyle modifications. So um, trying to lose weight if, if you have a high BMI or high, um, high weight. Um, trying to cut back on fat and, and rich foods, eating late or going to bed or laying down soon after eating. And also avoiding trigger factors like alcohol, Caffeine, like coffee, is our big triggers uh, to causing reflux. Yeah. Um, if reflux goes untreated for a long time, it can lead to stricturing or um, scarring uh, of the area between your esophagus and stomach, ulcers, inflammation, and if inflammation lasts for some time, it can even lead to uh, cancer down the road. And real quick, tell us about it. All every, everything fails. The TIF surgery may be the thing that, that may work right. for you. Right. So TIF is, uh, stands for Transoral Incisionless Fundoplication, and it's supposed to mimic our standard Nissen fundoplication, which is what we do for uh, surgical repair or fix of the reflux disease. And so um, using an endoscope, there's a device that's placed over this, and this whole instrument goes through the patient's mouth, and we go into the stomach, and we create um, a reflux or, or, an, or fix the reflux barrier um, that's a valve that everybody has mm -hmm. but may not, be, may not be working right. And so we create a fundoplication or a wrap around that valve, and... Um, Try to fix the reflux after that. And the best part, it's a, it's, it's an in, in and out kind of procedure, maybe less than an hour. Uh, correct. So it may take an hour. You still need anesthesia, though, uh, to protect your airway. Um, but the procedure, just like any other endoscope, is done all without incisions and may take an hour. And people may go home uh, later that day or the next day. All right. Dr. Gopal, thank you so much for the insight. Of course, really appreciate your time. And if you'd like more information on the TIF procedure, visit our website at KRISTV.com. Reporting live from Bay Area Hospital, Roland Rodriguez, Chris.